Hi, hi, how are you? Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Nice. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Mm, nice? Nice. Excellent. Ready. Ready to start a new week, right? Imagine we are beginning the second week of February. That's unbelievable how fast. The time goes. The second. Second. The second week. Okay. Huh? Vamos a ver how you do it. If the ones that promise teacher, we're going to check in the weekend. Did it, right? Good night, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Very nice. Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Minor, Marco. Okay, I still have people. Okay, Carmen Alfredo, very nice. Cecilia del Carmen, missing one, Cecilia. Right? Missing one, Cesar Antonio. Nice, Cesar Antonio. Now you're complete. Claudia Ivonne, complete. Jacob, what happened to Jacob here? Jonathan, complete Jonathan, nice. Jose David, who knows about Jose David? Hi, hi. Juan Carlos, no, ¿verdad? No hay Juan Carlos. Juan Antonio. Nice, Juan Antonio. It's complete. Eh, we have also Karen, Carla, and Catherine Beatriz. That are complete. Nice. Catherine Bridget, too. It's complete. Connie, what happened, Connie? Is Connie here? Hi. Solo me echo el 20% de la unidad. Dos, Connie. ¿Qué le pasó? La tarea 7 me falta. Mm. La 7. Le sí. faltan... Sí, toda la unidad 2. Mañana tiene que estar completita unidad 2 y examen de medio curso. Sí, ya no es la tarea 2, le falta la... Le, le falta, quiero ver, la 7, la 8, la 9 y la 10 y el examen. Acuérdate. Pero ahora te caería la 8. La 9. Ah, pues yo estaba confundida. Ya está atrasada. Ya está atrasadita. Oye, póngase las pilas. Ok. Vamos a ver. Marco y Minor, ¿no here? Marco, Marco, no me trabajó unidad dos, nada. No, yo no. ¿Y qué pasó? Me estaba medio... ¿Mm? 
he estado muy ocupado. Mm, de ocupar, no se le ocurre a nadie más ocupado que un teacher. Oye, por favor, pónganseme al día, Sandra. Muy bien, Sandra es complete, Silvia Estela, Silvia Estela, 40%, Silvia, de otra Silvia, 56%, no le falta, Silvia. Tatiana, only 20. Tatiana, ¿qué pasó? Promesa, teacher. Tatiana. Missing. Vaya, recuerden que yo voy recogiendo, eh, recojo tareas cada viernes, ¿verdad? Yo recojo tareas cada viernes, reviso lunes, y termino de revisar martes, porque martes es el último día para que usted se me ponga al día con cada unidad. Hoy, mañana cierra unidad 2 y examen de medio curso. Felicito a los que ya terminaron la unidad 2 completa. Los que no, usted puede adelantarse, pero no atrasarse, jamás. Usted puede ir haciendo ya, haber hecho la 9, pero no estar en la... En las siete todavía, o en las seis. Oye, por favor, no se me vayan atrasando, eso no se puede. No se puede. Yo tengo que ir reportando su progreso, y si usted no progresa, no le puedo reportar progreso, ¿verdad? Así es que vamos, pongámonos las pilas. Yo sé que están ocupados, pero cada actividad son tres minutos, ¿verdad, Amanda? ¿Cuánto le llevó una actividad? Como tres minutos, ¿verdad? Lo mucho le va a llevar tiempo entrar a la plataforma. Si la tiene guardada, un minuto entra. En tres minutos me hace un ejercicio, en otros tres minutos me hace otro. Si se tarda mucho, se tarda así. Oye, no sé qué, please, 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 no me, no se me vayan a atrasar. Oye, Vaya, vamos a ver, Amanda Yesenia. Present, teacher. Present. <ríe> Present, teacher. Carlos Alfredo. No here, Carlos Alfredo, yes. No. Eh, Cecilia. Cecilia del Carmen. No here, Cecilia. César. Present, teacher. Ay, César. Claudia y Boom. Present teacher. Jacob. Jacob. Jonathan. Present teacher. Nice. José David. Present teacher. Eh, Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio, Juan Antonio, no hay. Juan Carlos, no hay Juan Carlos. No. Uh, Karen. Present teacher. Sala Chamelet. Present teacher. Catherine Bridget. Present teacher. Nice. Catherine Connie. Present teacher. Aponi, nice. Present. Marco Rubén. Marco Rubén. Present. Okay. Eh, minor. My, minor, no está minor. Eh, Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra. Silvia Estela. Silvia. Silvia Inés. ¿No? Tatiana. Present teacher. Okay. Y the last one, Catherine Beatriz. Present. Okay. How are you? Fine. Happy, happy. Teacher. Teacher. Hola. Hola. Puedo conectarme. Soy Carlos Reyes. Carlos. Carlos Alfredo. Okay. ¿Alguien más se conectó después de que lo llamé? 
Hello, teacher. Bien, yo. Cecilia. Es Cecilia. Bien, yo. Cecilia. Okay. Anybody else? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? No more. No, estamos cabales. Nos faltan siete. Faltan que no estamos cabales. Pache. Bueno. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Y les voy a compartir. Welcome. Welcome to session number. What number? What number? Nine. Yeah. Nice. This is session number nine. Well, last week, if you remember, we were talking about questions, right? We were asking questions. Today, we are going to talk about the, the, the topic is talking about your company vocabulary practice. And the objective uh, to be able to engage in small talk using a variety of topic using socializing vocabulary. So, do you like talking? Yes, a lot, okay. That's what we are going to be doing today, talking. Right, And when you say mini talk, we talk about um, those small conversations that we do remember. We were mentioning last class when she said, oh, I passed from a small talk to, to smart talk. ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Se acuerdan? The conversation. So, oh, no, I have improved, she said. I move from small talk to smart talk. And today we're going to be talking about what is a small talk. What do we do at small talk? And what do we talk about in a small talk? Hmm? Okay, look at this question. We already mentioned that a little bit last class. What's a small talk? Hmm? What's a small talk? Is this a conversation for the example for the weather? Or exactly, very small? exactly, yes. We were mentioning last class that, for example, if you go, if you go to, okay, to a bank, right? to waiting a lot, or if you go to the social security, right? And you're waiting eh, for a long time. We were saying last class that we Salvadorians like to talk, but many people like to talk. Some others like to be quiet and they pretend that they are talking with somebody, right? So that they are big and they don't want to talk to people. So they say, no, I'm talking. I remember in the bus, some people like this. They were talking on the phone with nobody, just for people not to talk to them. I remember because I did that a couple of times when I was young. It was necessary, <laughs> right? To pretend I was busy and I was talking to somebody. Then, sometimes when you feel you are in a safe place, you can just start a small talk and we will see what type of talks or what type of topics we talk about in a small talk. Check. Next question. Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Mm? No. No. You're shy. <laughs> uh-huh. Are you a shy person that you sit there and you talk to nobody? Hmm? Or are you a good conversationalist? Cesar said no. What about the others? Are you a good conversationalist? Hmm? That means you're good at talking about whatever. 
doesn't matter what, but talking, 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 talking. Are you good at talking with people that you don't? In my, uh -huh. in my, in my case, I'm not um, a shy person. You are a shy person, Amanda. No, I'm not a shy person. Okay. Uh, for me, it's easy um, to start a conversation. Okay. About whatever, right? Yes. I remember last time in the social security, I was talking about cars with a man. I, I learned a couple of things about cars that I didn't know. <laughs> And I said, okay. Another time, previous time, about three months before that I went to the social security, I met a woman who had a ranch at the beach. And she said, we rent it whenever you want to go. We rent the ranch for a specific amount of money. And I was like, oh, wow. So you learn about people, right? When you talk to them. Mm -hmm. So, the ones that say I'm not a good conversationalist, why? Why? Why aren't you a good conversationalist? Hmm? Why aren't you a good conversationalist? The ones that say, no, me, no. ¿Por qué no? ¿Mm? Because you're shy, because you don't like people. Why? Is there a reason for not being a good conversationalist? Uh -huh. Hola. Porque andamos callados. ¿Por qué andamos callados hoy? Hola. Uh -huh. Hello, chair. How are Hi. you? Fine. <ríe> qué bien callado. Pues. Vale. Menos mal que estamos hablando de hablar. Vale, look at this. Ay, qué calor, niños. Yo tengo calor. ¿Está haciendo calor en su casa o solo soy yo? Yes, teacher. Yes. La, la yes, menopausia. <laughs> la menopausia, teacher. No. <laughs> sí, está haciendo calorcito, ¿verdad? Sí, se pone. Vaya, chequen. Aquí tengo algunas definiciones para ustedes. Small talk. What's a small talk? ¿Quién me lee? Polite and informal conversation about things which aren't really important or meaningful when meeting people socially, socially, and at a party. Aha. Uh -huh. Mean polite, informal conversation. Two characteristics. It's a conversation, it's a polite conversation. But it's an informal conversation, like the one you have any place, a party, for example, right? It says uh, about things that are not important or meaningful, right? Not important, not meaningful. You met somebody, thank you very much. You met somebody, for the first time you see that person and then they start talking about whatever. We're going to see about what is that whatever, right? What is upward? What does it mean upward? Mm -hmm. Feeling uncomfortable, embarrassed. Embarrassed. Yes, embarrassed. Embarazada. ¿Mm? Algo penoso. <ríe> sí. Avergonzado, no embarazado, ¿verdad? Embarrassed. For example, when you feel embarrassed, 
You feel awkward. You feel hi, no, I feel so um, awkward today. That means you feel uncomfortable and you also feel embarrassed. Like when talking with people, right? If you say, well, I'm not very social, you know, I don't like talking to people. And when I go to a party, I prefer to sit alone and talk only with people I know, but not to new people because I feel awkward if I do that. So that means I feel uncomfortable and I feel uncomfortable. Me da pena hablarle a la gente. Have you seen people that are embarrassed of eating? ¿Te han fijado? Gente que le da pena comer en frente de usted. ¿Ya les ha pasado eso? ¿Sí? Yes. <laughs> Que no comen con usted, no porque, ay, qué tufoso, este que no quiere comer conmigo. No es que le da pena. So they feel embarrassed about other people looking at them eating, right? By in a class, of course, I will feel embarrassed that you see me eating in class, right? But in a social event, everybody's eating. You eat, no problem. I remember the first time, eh, that was like about 25 years ago, I was younger. Eh, I went to a, a teacher's celebration. I remember there was a, a woman, an elderly, she was a writer from El Salvador. And she was there in the lunch. It was a, a, a lunch, a Christmas lunch. No, it was not Christmas, it was teachers. Teacher's Day, lunch. But there was chicken, and the chicken was like, like the ones that you have the, the a leg, right? And you had to bite it with your name, with your, and take it with your hands. And I remember that I was like, ¿Cómo me como este pollo? I was new in, in a social event. For me, that was totally new. And I was embarrassed about eating in front of other people that were like, okay, a writer. A writer was not like that. My colleague, doesn't matter, we can eat together. But it was a writer, the one that was, she was a poet. And, and she was right in front of me. And I remember that she saw me and she said, a pie, hija, no se preocupe, agárrelo con la mano. That made me feel so well that I took the chicken and I started eating the way she started doing. And the one next to her, she took the chicken too with her hands and she was eating. And the partner that was next to me too, so we all took the chicken with our hands and we started eating. Because it was like a kind of pollo campero, something like that. But imagine, etiquette because of the etiquette i knew i had to use a fork and a knife to cut the chicken and that's why i was like ouch con cual mano agarra el tenedor con cual mano agarra el cuchillo eso pasa a veces y si le ponen montón de tenedores padre santo <laughs> right but that is part of the etiquette that's a set of rules which indicate what is acceptable and what is not acceptable in society. And I was like, ouch. And I just look at the chicken and I was like, and I took this, the, the fork and I started eating the rice and the salad. And she saw, she saw me and she saw that I was eating only the salad and the rice. That's why she told me, no, hija. No, hija, no se preocupe. Vaya hacia pie. Y agarró el pollo con la mano. So, si se come, mire. And I was like, okay. And then we all in the table were eating with our hands. But that was acceptable in that moment. 
because one of the most important persons in the table decided that it was acceptable, right? If no, of course, I had to use the knife and a fork, try it to it to the chicken, whatever I could get, right? Because that is part of etiquette. That happens when you go to a special event, especially a social event, like a party, right? A party, a dinner, lunch, okay? Now, etiquette. What is etiquette? What is etiquette? Huh? It's a set of rules which indicate what acceptable behavior in society is. ¿Qué es aceptable que no? ¿Y qué le dicen a uno? Si va a un almuerzo, coma con tenedor de chile. Siéntese correctamente. No ponga los codos en la mesa. ¿Sí? That's part of etiquette. Behave. No hable con la boca llena. No se ría más, no se ría más, escándalo, no ocupe el celular. So all those things are etiquette, right? They tell us, they tell us what is acceptable, what's not. Now, check this. Pero ve, ahí está, y nos faltaba esto. So what is breaking the ice when talking about a minto or a small talk? What is breaking the ice? Hmm? Quiero hacer fresco, voy a sacar el hielo y lo peso, empiezo a pegarle con el hielo. <laughs> ¿Verdad? In this case, it's when you get to a person, approaches acercarsele, right? You approach someone you don't know and it's Start a friendly conversation with that person. No sé quién es, pero igual. Somos personas, tenemos boca, hablen. Right. <laughs> That's my theory. That's why I always talk. So, see? Approaching someone you don't know and starting a friendly conversation with them. That's breaking the ice. Who breaks the ice? The one that starts talking. The ones that say, hey, nice dress. It's very hot today, right? And the people say, yeah, you know, da, 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 and they start to talk. And they say, whatever. In England, there is a rule that says, if you are in a queue, a queue is a una fila. Right, like the ones we do here at the bank or when you go to a cafeteria to buy food. They say, when you are in a queue, if you don't want to talk to people, don't comment anything. Ya rompió el hielo, ya se le hizo. <laughs> right, so that's the rule. That's what they say. Si no quiere hablar con nadie, pues no le comente sobre el clima, sobre la hora, sobre que ya no está aquí, porque ya se le armó una conversación. Es that because that's breaking the ice. You break the ice and then you continue with the conversation. What is private? Hmm? Private. Check the definition. Someone who doesn't like to give away their personal information, opinions, or share their feelings. How do you feel? I okay. Really? Are you okay? Yeah. Mm, nothing happens. Everything's fine. Why are you so serious? Say yes. That's where I am. Nothing happens. Where do you live? Mm, near. Very near from here. <laughs> right. That's someone private. Someone who doesn't like to give away personal information. Do you live near here? Mm, yeah, somehow. Do you go by bus or by car? Um, yeah, I go. <laughs> See, 
pero no le suelta nada. Right? No information. And what do you think about el tema de pensiones? Mm, I don't know. So that, tipo, that type of people, you will say they are private. So say, what do you think about having the, the, the Miss Universe in El Salvador next year? Uh, uh, really, I didn't know that. Y pretenden no saber, no haberse dado cuenta para no opinar. Right? So then you say, ah, that person is private. Okay? Have you seen, for example, the famous people? When they go to an interview, when the, the host starts asking them about their private life, like, hey, you're beginning a new relas relationship, right? It's a relationship. It's just that. It's so true. And they start, like, rejecting every answer, right? With the purpose of continue being private. That sometimes when trying to be private, people go to this, right? Rude, behaving, ill manner, or unpleasant, right? That's rude. When trying not to answer, have you seen famous people in the in the in the interviews? They may go this way. When they get a question that they don't want to answer. And the one that is interviewing insists on trying to get an answer. So they get like this sometimes, right? Okay, what about this one? Slipped my mind. Oh, it slipped my mind. That means I totally forgot, right? It slipped my mind. I forgot. Se me fue. Decimos, ¿verdad? En español. Right? In English, you say, it slipped my mind. Si no quiere decir, I forgot it. Yes. Oh, it slipped my mind. ¿Te acordas que nos íbamos a reunir a las tres? Ah, it slipped my mind. ¿Se me olvidó? ¿Sí? Se me fue. I didn't remember. Right? Slipped my mind. Any questions about the vocabulary we have been talking about today? Question. No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. No questions. ¿Quién me dijo teacher? Eh, el que dice Ruth no me quedó muy claro en cuándo lo vamos a utilizar. No sé si podría ampliarme un poquito más, Iche. Perdón. Vaya. Ruth will be a person who speaks to you or that answers to you. Imagine. Remember, we are in the context of, of breaking the ice and starting a small talk with somebody that you don't know, right? Sometimes people, you just tell them something and they start talking to you. In some other cases, people look at you like, you know, no sé, like this. Como, ¿qué es eso para hablar? <laughs> But that, that would be very rude. ¿Sí? That would be very rude. If somebody looks at you like, hey, do you work here? And they look at you like, hmm. The body language, the face, right? The gestures, the tone of voice can be very, uh, how can I say? Uh, very easy to identify in a root person. Yeah. It's totally the opposite to a person who starts talking to you and answering to you the questions and then they start asking. Uh, this is totally the opposite. In Spanish, you would say rudo, right? Rudo, no porque no le cala nada, sino rudo de pesado. 
desagradable de mi música. Listen. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que... Gracias, teacher. Es como decir un cae mal. <risas> sí. Grosero. Grosero. Busquemos una traducción para il manner. Vamos a ver qué dice. Y es il manner. Il manner. Que no se me ocurre, fíjense. Una palabra en español. Mal educado. Having bad manners. Sí, muy educado. Sí. Cambridge dice rude and unpleasant. Ajá, chistoso. Quiero que me diga. Sí, pero quizás sí, eso sería en eso. Synonym. The ill manner. Rude. Someone who's ill manner is rude. It would be ill manner to show up an hour late to your cousin's wedding reception with a careful. Careful of your invited. Uy, sí. Y más, a mí me suena como alguien grotesco. Grosero. grosero. Porque grotesco ya va más a terror. Ah, <risa> pero. Pero alguien grosero. Uh -huh. Imagínese el ejemplo que nos da acá de Il Manner. Que usted es la boda de su primo. ¿me? Usted llega una hora después que empezó la recepción, ni siquiera de la boda. O sea, se perdió todo el evento de la boda y llegó una hora después a la recepción con el car lleno de amigos que su primo no invitó. Y usted sabe cómo son las bodas hoy. Te doy tu tarjeta con invitación para dos. Vos y tu esposa, vos y tu novia, vos y tu novio. O sea, sí, vea. Entonces, una persona que es el manner dice es impolite, ungracious, o sea, que no es agraciado, discortigious, right? And your thought of an ill manner. O sea, es impolite, ¿qué es? No amable, me Ungracious. No agraciado. Que no desgraciado. ¿no? <ríe> Discon discortillos, descortés. Ese es el mano. Y mire, dice: eh, It is manner, it is ill manner to cut in front of people in line. El que se llega a meter a su fila cuando usted está con una gran hambre, ¿verdad? Y haciendo la cola para ir a comprar el almuerzo. Y llega otro y se va a meter como 10 personas adelante, pero ya está su chero. Ese es il manner. That's an il manner. Entonces, y dice, hmm, to take a subway seat where an elderly person was getting ready to sit. Usted va en el bus, aquí vamos a decir bus, porque ahí no tenemos metro. Usted va en el bus y hay una persona viejita que va a sentarse. Usted se sienta primero. Recuerdo una vez. No estaba viejita todavía, pero estaba embarazada. Una gran barriga que había echado. Y en el bus, justo a sentarme iba cuando se me atravesó un hombre que se sentaba y apartaba el asiento de a la par. Y, dice, ¿Cómo que, qué? y era el último. Pero eso es ir manio. ¿Sí? Y vamos a ver qué más nos dicen. Or to invite everyone in your class except one person to your birthday party. Ay, qué terrible. Imagínense que aquí decimos, ok, es mi cumpleaños mañana, ¿verdad? Entonces los voy a invitar a todos, menos a José Dami. Y a todos les digo, y tome, aquí está la tarjetita, aquí está la tarjetita. Y a José Dami me invito. Y él estaba enfrente viendo que le di la tarjetita a todos los demás. Eso también es ir mal. ¿Cómo dirían eso en español ustedes? ¿Mm? Qué mala onda. 
<ríe> ¿verdad? Vamos a ver qué me dice, te dice, porque a mí ya quiere picada, ¿cómo se dice eso en español? In Spanish, porque en inglés sabemos muy bien qué es, a ver, en Spanish, mal educado, pero es que mal educado, lo siento como muy poquito, no sé. <ríe> Con todas las definiciones y los ejemplos que nos da el diccionario en inglés, mal educado, no sé, ¿a ustedes qué les suena? Sí, la que muy poquito. Para todo lo que dice el dictionary, en, en, en ¿cómo se llama? En, en los significados de, de, de il man, queda corto. Queda corto el il man. ¿Verdad? Pero es el il man. ¿Verdad? Rude. Grosero. ¿Verdad? ¿Right? Así que no, nosotros no somos así. Right. Now, let's go. No questions. Questions? No questions. No, 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 no. Ah, no questions. Okay. Check. Check. When we talk about a small talk, I want you to see the pictures. What you're going to do here is look at the picture and tell me what you think is the topic that we are representing in this picture. Mm -hmm. A small talk, it's possible to uh, start conversation for, do you like a uh, chocolate Hershey, for example? Yes, yes. About things you like, right? What about the place of work? What about this one? The location, or ah, the location, right? Direction. Pasando okay. iba, and you see somebody say, excuse me, do you know where the gas station is? Do you know where? Um, where is a super selectos here, right? So you ask for location of a place. This would be what? Mm -hmm. What is represented there with the chakra? A company. See? We can be there talking about a company. We want to talk about the company where you work, right? That's another way of starting a, a small talk. What about this? What about this one? What does it tell you? Remember we say location here. That will be a topic. A topic to talk. Location. Also to talk about a company. This is company. Okay, about a company. Also about what will be another small talk? About what topic? Politics. Politics. And politics. Uh, outdoor activities. Uh -huh. Runners. Politics. Runners. That people ask you, hey, usted va a ir a votar. Right? So that's politics. And this will be an event, right? A common event. A common event can be whatever activity that you have, where you include everybody at the company, for example. Yes. You see lots of people, and you will do games. In the United States, it is very common, it is very common that the companies have one day in the year when they meet with all the people of the company 
and they do games. And the, the, the idea is that as they are going to move, to jump, to exercise, to whatever, they have to be like this. You see, everybody's comfortable. Okay? Wearing shorts. This is a common event. They're going to go to, to, to this stress, right? This is an activity for the company, uh, for all the employees of the company to go and have fun. Right? That's the purpose. And that's why they have to go wearing sports clothes and sports shoes. So we're comfortable. And then you will see them jumping, running, and they do lots of things, but they finish very, very, and very tired at the end of the day. See? But that's, that is an, a custom of American companies. During the pandemic, that was lost a little bit, right? Because people could not meet, so they didn't have these events that way they used to have them. Probably this year, they will retake them because people can be together again, right? Now, what about this one? Aha. About travels. Travel, travel yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can talk about traveling. Mm -hmm. This is... Have you gone? Have you traveled by bus? Have you traveled by car? Have you traveled by plane? Hey, have you traveled abroad? And you start talking about traveling, right? What about this? About economy. Money, yeah. Talking about money. By checking, no. Todos estos topics son a good topic for uh, breaking the ice. For example, sports. Como se dice, un tema espinoso, right? So, check, we have two more pictures and then you tell me which ones cannot be a good idea for a small talk. What about this? Who is this man? Hmm? The boss. The boss. Do you think it is a good idea to break the ice talking about your boss? What do you think? Yes or no? No. no. ¿Qué tal está hablando mal del hijo, con, del jefe con el hijo, con el papá, con el hermano? ¿No? <laughs> Don't talk about your boss. Not good idea. What about this one? Influencer. What does it mean? What does it mean? This hand. Like. You can talk about likes, interests, right? Likes and probably dislikes. You know what I don't like is this. What I like is this. Okay. Questions? Hmm? No questions? I'm okay. Look at this. I can't remember what I told you. Not all the topics are the best thing to talk to break the ice, right? We said a small talk is a conversation where you break the ice because you talk to people that you don't know, right? So you meet people and you start talking just because they are people. Just to start. Yeah? Just to start a conversation. But no, the topics are a good idea. Mm -hmm. So look at here, you have location. Example question, is your company near the trade center? Company, job. What are some of your responsibilities at Trex Inc? Politics. These politicians are a disaster. What do you think? 
common event. Are you enjoying the seminar? Are you enjoying the game? Travel. Does your job require a lot of travel? Money. Are you making good money in your job? Bosses. I work for a trigant. Lights. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Do you enjoy watching television? Hey, what do you like to do when you are free? So those are topics that you have to decide. Which ones are good topics? Choose three. And which are inappropriate topics to discuss or to talk with somebody? Remember, to talk with somebody that you don't know as a small talk. It's the first time you see the person. What topic will you talk about? What topic you will not talk with a person for the first time you meet them? In my case, teacher, I don't talk about politica. About politics? In money, me and the boss. No bosses, no money. In the politics, money, and base. And? Boss. And the boss. boss. Okay. Yes. yes, because you don't know who you're talking about, right? Imagine and you get there saying, I I work for a tyrant. Oh, who you? Oh, who's the boss? Who's your boss? Fulanito. Oh, that tyrant is my father. And you go like, I. Mm -hmm. So, uh -uh. better know. Know with somebody you don't know. Right? Uh-huh. Which topics do you consider good thing? to talk common event travel lights lights see see que you're talking in an informal way va a ir a preguntar y cuáles son sus razones su trabajo no you want to break the ice what you want is forget completely about your job. Para que un desconocido le venga a preguntar. <laughs> no. Okay. So, mm -mm. the location. Where is your job? Ya prácticamente le estáis preguntando dónde trabaja. Mm -hmm. So, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, these are the topics checked that we consider good for talking, common event, a, tra a trip, right, of traveling, mm, likes, what things do you like to eat? If you want to include these likes, that's okay too. And the topics that definitely no talk because they are not appropriate, you will get in trouble, politics. Imagine, what about this? You tell the person next to you, hey, this politician is a disaster. And they tell you something that you don't want to listen. Right? So, uh uh, better no. You may get in trouble. You cannot ask a person that you don't know about money because later on they will ask you. If you ask somebody about money, later they will ask you. And you will have to say it too. About your boss, we already said, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Right. Any question as the kid? No questions. Uh -huh. Not for the moment. No, for the moment. Okay. Now, we have a couple of questions for you too. 
for you to discuss before we go to create your own small talk check. Look at this question. What do you think about this question? When will you ask this question? When? When do you ask these questions? En qué casos? En qué casos usamos esas preguntas? Yes. When when we are breaking the ice. Mm -hmm. Pero, ¿a dónde? ¿A dónde? For example, imagine you are... Están almorzando. Y le va a preguntar a alguien. Hey, when do I believe you shall start not talking? When do you ask this question? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The first maybe or um, the common events. Mm -hmm. In a common event. Especially if somebody says that he or she has a baby that is about two or three years old. Hey. When do babies usually stop <laughs> That's the moment, right? Okay. But I'm going to send you to the groups because I want you to cheer. I want... So le voy a pegar las preguntas acá en el... En el... En el chat. Aquí en el Zoom se lo voy a pegar hoy. Let's see. these questions with your partners. Okay, look at the questions, right? When do babies usually start talking? What is a small talk? What is a ticket? Tell your mamas. What do Neil and Rob talk about? Why do British ask about the weather to break the ice? What does the speaker do when he doesn't remember a name? Okay. Any speaker, not a speaker in particular. If somebody doesn't remember a name, what does he do? See? See? Question. If you don't remember a name, what do you do? Mm -hmm. What do you do when you don't remember a name? I ask you again, teacher. You ask? Again, the name. Pues sí, verdad. Pues sí. If you don't Sleep remember... my mind? Uh -huh, of course, of course, you can ask one more time and then they will tell you again. Vaya, let's go discuss with your partners. I'm going to send you a ver. I'm going to send you in groups of three. Sandra sigue quedándose, ¿verdad, Sandrita? No le deja. Va. <coughs> Vamos a ver. Uy, espérenme. Ok. 
Ay, no. Va. Ok. A mixing. Four people, four groups. In some cases, three. But there we go. Dejo acá a minor Sandra, Silvia, Estela y Silvia Inés. Oye, let's go. Try to join. Okay, thank you. Join, join, join. José David, vámonos. Let's go, let's go. Ay. Pueden ver las preguntas en el, en el chat de Zoom. No se ven. También las, las tengo Vaya. The problem is the chat is only in. Ah, good. Logran ver. Hoy sí. When do you do it? You should start. When do you wait? You should start talking. Maybe I go into the park. Si I saben las respuestas, respóndanla. When do the babies start usually start talking? Um, when they are five, when they are two, when they are one year old. When do babies start talking? ¿Qué saben? Si no tienen babies, ¿qué creen? Um, um, they have uh, around 10 months. <laughs> <laughs> when they are 10 months. Yes. Aku. <laughs> okay. Continue with the rest of the of the questions. Teacher. Hola. Verdad que estas preguntas van eh, como eh, casi lo mismo que la tarea siete. Mm, no la he visto. Que fíjense que yo hice la tarea 7, pero no la encontré a las preguntas. Todas me salieron mal. Es que la tarea 7 creo que es donde iba a usar los auxiliares. Sí, Ajá. el ver el do y el das. Vaya, yo, tenía... yo la hice así y no me salieron. Ah. Sí. Compañera, yo tuve ese problema, pero le daba a veces dos espacios. Ah. Y pues hay que respetar la mayúscula y la y los signos de puntuación. Bueno, la voy a volver a hacer. What is small talk? Talk. Contestamos y la vamos a, a contestar, dicha. Sí, contéstenlas. Okay. When do babies usually start? Que cuando Empiezan a caminar ¿Cuándo? los bebés. ¿Cuándo? No. Hablar. ¿Cuándo empiezan a hablar? Hablar. ¿Cuándo es? Ajá, <ríe> suelen empezar a hablar. El año, ¿verdad? Los niños. Ajá. Aproximadamente. Ay, hi, hello. Hi, teacher. Can you share the, the presentation? No pueden ver el, las preguntas en el chat de Zoom. No, Check. Can you see them? No, teacher. No. 
कंबाइन करेंगे आई डोंट टेल व्हाट्सएप नोट्स करिए पाई से लम्बे व्हाट्सएप Vaya, cheque. Le voy a pegar un link para que a ah. les voy a poner un link. Es donde está la información que vamos a leer así como escaneadita rápido para encontrar la respuesta a esas preguntas. Check. Y se lo voy a pegar aquí también en Zoom. You scan quickly and you answer the question, right? Oh, me digo más gente. Room 4. Uy. Se murió el room 4. ¿Ya abrieron el link? ¿Sí? Yes, yes, teacher. Hello. Hi, hi. Sí, teacher. Yes, teacher. Vaya, che. There is a, um, me los traje para que vean que hay un link. Uh -huh. No lo van a compartir ese link, a abrir cámara con él. Solamente van a to tomar turnos para ir leyendo la mini conversation que les sale allí. Oye, se lo voy a pegar de nuevo. Se los puse allí en el chat de WhatsApp. ¿Verdad? Pero se los voy a pegar también acá, en el chat de Teams. ¿Qué va a hacer con, con eso? Es una mini conversation, la que usted va a abrir allí. Es, eh, are you big on small talk? ¿Qué tanto sabe de small talk? ¿Ya? Yeah. We have a social event full of people you don't know. We have been, we have all been there and it's not an easy situation. Robert Neal discuss how to approach people and try to make friends when you are in, a, in an event, ¿verdad? Ahora, you will, you will not listen to the conversation, but you will read the conversation together. Ahí tienen el script. And you have this week's question. When do babies usually start talking? Is it when they are nine months? 
when they are 16 months or when they are 18 months. ¿Sí? You continue reading the conversation. Aquí están las definiciones que les puse al principio. Y aquí tenemos el script. Check it. This is not a word for word transcript. O sea, una conversación así no literal, ¿verdad? And then you begin with Neil. Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Six Minute English. And with me in the studio is Ron. Eso es lo que ustedes van a ir leyendo. Uno va a ser Neil, otro va a ser Ron. ¿Ok? Se voluntarean ahí ustedes. Porque solamente van a ir hablando dos personas, solo Neil and Rob. Al final, que terminen leyendo la mini conversation, va a terminar contestando las preguntitas que tienen ahí. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Y cheque. Al, al final, si ustedes ya se fueron bien abajo, dice, we are. Eh, ah, interesting stuff. Are we still learning words now, aren't we? And they say, yes, we are. Well, enough for this small talk. Let's remember some of the words we use. The small talk, awkward, etiquette, breaking the ice, private, truth, and slipped my mind. Que son las que estuvimos viendo al principio, ¿se acuerdan? Pero lo que yo quiero es que se vayan así viendo que este es un ejemplo de cómo ustedes pueden hacer un small talk. Ok. Hello, Amil. Welcome to Six Men English. I'm with me in the studio. It's Rob. Hello, me. How are you today? I'm fine. Thanks. How are you? Hmm, I'm very well, actually. The weather has been nice lately, hasn't it? Yes. So you see what, how they start talking. And then you continue with the conversation. Okay? Bye. Hoy que ya estamos todos allí, ya abrieron el link. Sí? Ya abrimos el link. Yes. yes. <laughs> Vaya, para poder mandarlo ya tranquilamente a los grupos. Vamos a ver que me había quedado un grupo cortito.